Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a demo of running Maya 2015 on a MacBook Pro Retina, 15 inch, running on Mavericks. So this version of the MacBook Pro, which is the second from the top of the line, so it's the slightly slower processor, but the same memory and the same NVIDIA 750M GPU. Um, and I wanted to buy this computer because I've been previously using a 17-inch PC on Windows 7 Pro, which actually ran Maya amazingly. Um, I, I love how it ran Maya, but the computer itself was just not that good. It was really slow. It didn't have an SSD like these have. And just, I've had it for about two years, but, and the computer is just basically ready to die. Um, I don't know what happens with Windows computers, but eventually just get all bogged down. You know, they're not nice like the MacBook Pros where you hit the volume button and it instantly goes up and it integrates with the iBuds and just all the nice things about a Mac. Um, I just really wanted, on top of that, the 15-inch version is just, you know, it's a smaller laptop, it's lighter, it's easier to bring around, and it's, it's really responsive, and that's what I needed um, out of a computer. So um, going forward uh, with this demo, uh, you'll see here it says the Intel Iris Pro 1024. That's what the graphics card is right now. But this computer actually comes with two graphics cards. And if you get this, a helpful app to buy is called GFX Card Status. And it runs right up here. And what it does is it basically tells you which graphics card is being used. Uh, Mavericks with this computer will automatically switch it. That's why it's on dynamic switching here. Uh, depending on what the program needs. So you'll see once we start Maya that it will indeed switch. So here we are. This computer has basically nothing on it. It has some Adobe programs and it has Maya 2015. So it's as fast as it possibly could be. I will say that one disclaimer is that I'm running Camtasia to run the screen record. And that does make a big performance hit in Maya. But you can still get a general idea of how it looks and how it runs. So here we go. We're starting Maya. And thanks to the SSDs, this is an incredibly fast load. Uh, you'll see up here we switched to now we are using the NVIDIA GeForce GT 750M, which is a nice little notice. And Maya started incredibly quickly. I mean, compared to my PC, that is just, um, that's amazing. Um, so right away, if you're coming from a PC, um, this is going to look a little weird, mainly because of the OS X-ness of it. So this bar here is weird. This is up here. Um, and you're honestly losing a little bit of screen real estate, but what they've done for Mavericks, my 2015, I don't know if 14 does this, but if you hit Control command f um, that gets hidden, which is, it's nice for the real estate, right? Um, but to get these, you have to kind of hover over, which is a little slow, but if you feel like using the hotbox by holding space, you can still get all those things. Uh, it's a cool workaround. I'm, it's cool that they have that um, if you need it. So... With a retina, I'm using it in retina mode right now, so you can you can basically use this computer in a high resolution mode, which is 1920 by 1200, so slightly bigger than a, a 1080 HD frame. Um, but it comes at a performance hit. Uh, I, f I read somewhere that it's actually processing the images um, before it prints the screen at like 3K or something like that, and then it down samples it. So it, all in all, when you're when you're using Maya, uh, you have a pretty bad performance hit. Um, and honestly, I like using the Retina resolutions. It's really it's really workable for me. I think it, I think it works great. So, again, with the Maya demo, if if you don't already know this, if you hit Control Space, uh, it basically hides the whole UI. And now you have this whole viewport on the 15-inch monitor to work in. And I, I think that's really nice. And I, I do it quite a bit. I should, I want to hot bind it to actually hotkey it to something uh, faster than Control Space. But for now. I'll just leave it like that. Um, so with Maya 2015, there's a there's a bunch of changes, but the biggest one is that the native renderer for the viewport is viewport 2.0. And for this demo, um, I should explain that I am only using Maya really for previs. Uh, I'm using it. I basically bought this expensive computer, and I'm using Maya 2015, which is not cheap either. All for Viewport 2.0. I'm doing all my animation, my lighting, texturing, everything, modeling, of course, is just for Viewport 2.0. Every once in a while, I'll go to Mentor Ray or V-Ray for, for like a nice high res or something like that. But 90% of or 99% of everything I do is straight in the Viewport screen capture or Play Blast. Uh, so I thought I'd uh, let you know that. Um, so what else here? So this is my little custom plugin that I wrote. Um, but we won't go over that now. Uh, basically creates a HUD that tells you the what units you're working in, and then you can go from inches 
which is pretty common here in the States, and feet, which is what I usually work in. Um, so another thing to note is that the Autodesk plugin uh, layout tools does in fact still work with 2015 and it worked in 2014, though I think officially it's only released for 2012. Um, so what I'm gonna do here for the demo is use light tools and what I have here is a couple sound stages uh, based in New York City and I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this one. So layout tools is pretty cool, you just click it and it imports it really fast. Um, so right now this looks incredibly bad. I'm gonna hide this just to show the the UI as much as I can. So this is this is basically as much real estate as you can get on a Retina 15. Um, so viewport 2.0, the reason we like it is it has the anti-aliasing, turn off the grid, and it has ambient occlusion. And that's pretty nice to have that in real time. Um, so straight just looking at this, you know, these lines are still pretty aliased. Um, kind of weird outlining. I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong. I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty sure this is it's just really just a standard scene. There's not much to do wrong. Uh, if I had to compare this to my previous PC, which could run Viewport 2.0 and in Direct X 11 mode, uh, this does not look as good. It just doesn't. And that was kind of a bummer. And I considered returning this computer for that reason. But I will say I went back to my PC to work on a project and I remembered instantly why I wanted a new computer and why I wanted to run it on this new MacBook Pro is that it, this is just so much faster. You're running an SSD, the programs, the files load faster, and the computer as a whole is just is just a lot more um, it's a lot more responsive. But the con is that yeah, I think graphically it's just not as nice. But it's still workable um, for most situations, and definitely for what I'm doing. So next, I'm going to load an actor, and these are actually Autodesk. Um, what is it called? Autodesk. It used to be called Pinocchio when it was alpha, but I think it's released now, and they are Autodesk Character Generator, I think it is now. Uh, but anyway, so they're using the HIK system, which is another big reason I'm using Maya, because I really don't have time to build custom rigs. I just need off-the-shelf, really quick uh, actors um, and digital characters. Uh, a little thing that I, I think is actually the big thing in my world is that they have these new manipulators that allow you to move uh, planarly uh, if you need to, so it's kind of self-explanatory. Uh, but that that's a huge thing. Um, the manipulator before, at least I never knew how to get it to do that sort of thing. Um, moving forward, let's see, let's, let's put textures on. Let's also get rid of joints, don't need to see those. And I'm gonna do a quick animation, really, really quick and bad. We're going to key her hand, we'll go to 60, and we'll use the new manipulators. Key it again, and we'll go to 120, and we'll go down. Really, really weird animation, doesn't make any sense, but it'll just show you kind of how this, how Maya looks. Uh, let's see, let's unselect, so let's hit play. Um, so right now this is playing back at about 20 frames per second. Let me double check that we're doing. Let's make sure, let's do play real. Let's do active, play every frame rather, save that, and hit play, and let's look at the frame rates. So we're getting around 20 frames per second. And honestly, for this type of a scene, which is really small, but it still has like, you know, still has a, a skin character in it with animation, I was getting closer to 50. So I'd have to say that Camtasia is a huge performance hit. Um, and I would realistically say that this is more like a 50 frame to 60 frames per second um, playback. But you'll just have to take my word for that unless I can like record the screen with a, with a camera or something like that. So let's stop this. Um, I think the next thing that's helpful to look at is um, some lighting. So I have a built-in sky and sun, or not built-in, just something I've pre-built and I'm just importing. It's just basically a Get this up here somewhere we can see it a little better. It's basically a directional light with some shadows, with 8K bitmap shadows on, and an ambient ambient light. So if I hit 7, we're now lighting, and I'll turn on shadows. And those look insane because of all these pipes and stuff. And I, I think for this demo, I'm at least going to delete this one. Right. So here we are, clicking around the viewport. So we're looking at my 2015 on this 
on the MacBook Pro Retina running Mavericks, and the answer is it works. Um, let's hit play again with the lights on, see where we land. It's a little bit lower. I feel like it's still, uh, it's like a, like a 18 to 20 frames per second, so it's really not that different. And again, it's Camtasia. If I had Camtasia off, it would be pretty much twice as fast. But even with it running, I mean, because I do a lot of screen recording with Maya just running in the background and talking over it um, for explaining and that sort of thing, 20 frames is not bad. It's not great. My PC did, um, I, don't, I didn't even track it on my PC because it was so smooth. It didn't, it didn't really matter. But again, um, what you're getting from this computer is, is the speed and the responsiveness um, of the OS in general. Uh, so for Maya to be a little bit slower is not, not the worst thing for me anyway. I mean, most of my animations are going to get laid off in a play blast. So let's hit escape and pause that. So here we are again, we're in the full screen with lighting, with ambient occlusion, with anti-aliasing. And it's looking pretty good. Um, I think that's about it for the demo. Uh, hopefully this is helpful. I know when I was looking to do my research on buying this computer and being like, oh, does it run Maya? What does it look like? Is it is it terrible? Um, I was just looking for something like this, so hopefully this is helpful to you guys. And, uh, you know, leave a comment or get in contact if you want to see something specific happening on this system. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.